Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a very casual get ready with me. We're creating uh, this very easy, very quick look. Uh, I really hope you enjoy it, and I will see you soon. Today I'm starting with the Maybelline Master Prime Primer, the green one, the same one I used in my first video. A lot of the face products are going to be more or less the same. I'm going in with the Naked Skin Color Correctors in green and peach. Just applying them underneath my eye. I wish I could zoom more in, but I'm recording on my laptop for the time being. Hopefully I fixed the lighting situation. I know that it was pretty bad in my first video. In my, I'm in my dorm. The natural light kind of washes out my face, so I have the window slightly open. I, th I think it's, it's pretty okay. I like applying the peach one right here because I have a lot of redness here and this almost exaggerates it, so then when I apply the green one, it pretty much like neutralizes it, I feel. Now I'm taking the green one and I've been really red lately. I hit my head really hard right here um, in my sleep the other night. So I'm gonna have to put a little bit of color corrector on top of both of my eyebrows. And then I hit my chin up. So I'm gonna like doing is taking a um, like a really really flat headed brush. This is a Sedona Lace 872, and just tapping in circular motions over the color corrector. I'm then going to take my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer my Real Techniques sponge and just kind of dot this around and then work it in. I was, I've been meaning to film the video all last week but it was the first week of classes and I have a lot of reading. Most of the people watching at this point are like friends so they know that I'm an English major, and I have three English classes this semester, and two philosophy classes for my minor, um, and they obviously have and assign a lot of reading. And then I take it down my neck, even though it's a tinted moisturizer. You always should just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. I went to Ulta and I got the Tarte Shape Tape. I now see what all the hype is about. So I'm going to apply it very sparingly underneath my eye. I'm in the shade Fair Beige. I'm then going to take the same concealer and put it lightly down my nose, on my chin, forehead, and cupid's well. I'm going to set everything with the RCMA No Color Powder and my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I 
I'm then going to take the vanilla besame powder. I like to take a little and tap it off in the lid and just put it right underneath my under eye. I'm going to be priming my eyes with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, potion, and Enigma. I'm going to be using the peach palette, so I'm going to take a white peach and just set the um, eyeshadow primer with it. I'm going to start with um, peaches and cream on a fluffy blending brush and just kind of pop that in the crease. It's a pretty um, neutral color so it's not really gonna do much but I like just using this as a layout then same brush hit up Georgia put it in your crease as well now with still a pretty fluffy blending brush but without as wide of a surface I'm going to pick up puree and start in the outer corner and then just sweep it into the crease. So I like to start with um, light amounts of color and then add a little more because I feel like it's easier and more manageable to blend than having a huge amount of pigment on your brush. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. I'm going to take uh, Summer Yum on a Real Techniques base shadow brush, I believe it's called. Put this on the lid, all over the lid, with the, it's flat, so just put it flat make sure you get all over and then take the flat part and just work it back and forth because it kind of, it marries the um, two colors together and then pick up a little more of summer yum and put most of it towards the lash line I'm picking up Charmed, I'm sure, on the uh, Urban Decay Naked 2 brush, the fluffier side. And just building up that color in the outer V and then working it into the crease. Now I'm going to take, this is, oh, it's a Coastal Sense brush. It's just a bunch of numbers and letters, so I'm not going to read it. With shade Bellini. It's like a little angled brush, a fluffy angled brush. And I'm going to pop that into my inner corner. Then I'm going to take a Morphe B42 brush with puree on it and smoke out the lower lash line, connecting it to the top. Pick up Summer Yum, same brush, and start about halfway through the uh, lower lash line. Again, connecting it. And then uh, I just take a 
tissue wipe some of that color off. There's not a lot because I used a little bit of color, but take Charmed, I'm sure, and start right here. Work it down and then work it up. I'm now going to take my Kiko uh, Lasting Precision Liner, line my waterline. Then on an angled brush, or a whatever brush you want, but I'm using an angled brush, I'm going to take Crave from the first Naked Basics palette and just set that. I find that that makes this liner stay and be as dark as possible. Now that's all I'm really going to do with um, liner or eyeshadow, so now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. On my top lashes, I'm going to be using uh, the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. On the bottom lash line, I'm going to be using the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. Now I'm going to go in, I got the Tardis Pro Glow. I'm going to take Sculpt on a uh, Real Techniques contour brush. Then for blush, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. blush in Tickle Pink. Me, me, me blush brush. I'm going to be using the same TARDIS palette to highlight, but it has a lot of kickback. So what I like to do is I like to take my Sedona Lace 224 brush, I'm going to be dipping into strobe. I like to coat this brush, put it where I'm going to highlight, and then take my Morphe fan brush, lightly dip it in, and just kind of blend it out. And this really helps to um, still get that natural highlight that you want. I'm going to take the Sedona Lace 224 brush with the same highlight color, put it down my nose, tip of my nose, cupid's bow, and then my chin, and whatever I have left over, just kind of like to wrap up there. For lips, I'm going to be using the Tardis Glossy Lip Paint. I got this in my Ipsy bag, I think last month, or the month before, but I really like the color. Then I'm going to set everything with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any requests or anything like that, just put it in the comment section below. Thank you.